Hi, I'm Sandy Genovese and welcome to this episode of the Ellison Education video series. You know, even though dinosaurs are extinct, you're going to find that your students love learning about them. We have four dinosaur dyes that I'm going to highlight today in a pop-up report. I want to start first with the Tyrannosaurus rex. You can see that I've cut them out of a couple of different colors so it's easy to add paper layering detail and then used a white pen to add his teeth, a dark pen marker, you know, to add his eyes detail. It's simple to do. That's the T-Rex. Next to him is the Velociraptor. And when we look at the pop-up report, he's got perforations to help you see the shading that you might want to add. You can add texture to him. In the pop-up report, I used colored markers for the pterodactyl to add all kinds of cool coloration. You can have your kids look up online what the dinosaurs might have looked like in order to get a guide for how they might want it. Here is the triceratops, and you know it's it's also fun if you want the kids to really be creative and maybe design what a different looking triceratops, different than maybe what they would see in their imagination. Once you have the dinosaurs, then let's look at how to put them into a pop-up format. Here I've called this Bones in the Backyard, so the kids might be writing a story about finding dinosaur bones in their backyard. And I've used the pterodactyl. You can see I've used the colored markers to decorate the cover. The first page pops up to the Velociraptor, and just a, a black marking pen is all I've used to just add texture and detail. They're going to write their story on the lined paper. Next is the Triceratops, once again just adding a black and a white pen for detail. And then the final page is the T-Rex. So in order to do this, after you've got the dinosaurs cut out, you want to learn how to make the pop-up format. And it's surprisingly simple. I started with paper that was 8.5 by 11 or it can be 9 by 12, and I folded it in half. Now, I don't normally mark this. I usually just start cutting. I've marked it with pencil to make it a little easier for you to see. I have two slits that I'm going to cut along the folded edge. They're about an inch and a quarter long or an inch long, and they're about an inch and a quarter apart. So I'm going to cut on the one pencil line. The only thing that is important is that the one that I'm cutting next to it needs to be the same depth. So if this one goes in an inch, then this one should go in an inch. Because once you've cut both of them, you're going to fold this. And it's helpful if this fold is fairly straight. Once you've creased on that fold, then open it back up. Open the page up. Use your finger to pop this guy forward. And look at how you've popped up the pop-up element. So now you have some place that you can use to attach your dinosaur. So I'll go back and I'll put adhesive on the portion that are going to actually touch the tab, the pop-up tab. And then, I won't stop to fasten it, but you can take notebook paper, place it inside, go ahead and fasten that down. You're going to do this for however many pages the kids want in their book. Once all the pages are done, then you're going to take, if this is the first page, I'm going to put adhesive on the back of the first page, and I'm going to attach it to the front of the second page. So if this is page one, then this will be page two. I'm going to just position them so they align because I started with the same size paper. Press. And let me go ahead and put a little bit of adhesive on this lined paper so it will stay in place make it a little easier for you to see. So you do this, then you're going to do the same thing for as many more pages as you want. Put adhesive on the back, add it to the front. Put adhesive on the back, add it to the front. You can add as many pages as your kids want to write stories. Encourage them maybe to write nice long stories. Once you have all the pages, then you need to cover up the notches. So I've taken just a piece of copy paper, and it needs to be wide enough so that when it's folded, it will cover the notched edge. So I would put adhesive, fasten this down to those interior pages. I added a little more detail to the front. You can see here I've added also the title and a little more detail and that quickly and easily you can create pop-up reports. You know kids are going to love writing stories about their favorite dinosaurs and they're going to love the pop-up format. <laughs>